Buffalo police officer who landed on the wrong side of the law is now apologizing for his actions. Robert Eloff will learn his fate tomorrow. Prosecutors say he violated the civil rights of a man when he put him in handcuffs at Molly's Pub two years ago. Eloff pleaded guilty to a lesser charge back in June. He was off duty and working as a security guard the night Jeffrey Basil pushed William Sager down a flight of stairs at Molly's Pub. Sager later died. News 4's Luke Moretti has the latest on this case. Luke? Yeah, Jackie and Don, Eloff could face 6 to 12 months in prison, but his lawyer is asking that he be spared prison time. Now, we could know more tomorrow when Eloff is scheduled to be sentenced in federal court. Former Buffalo police officer Robert Eloff will soon find out his punishment for a civil rights violation. The judge in a sentencing case sits as the conscience of the community. Criminal defense lawyer Michael Teheri says the judge in this case will consider everything, including letters from Eloff, his family, friends, and colleagues. You read his letter. Mm -hmm. Did he accept responsibility? He accepts responsibility for what he did on that night, and he'll have an opportunity to add to that in court. In a letter to federal judge Richard Arcara, Eloff writes, I overreacted and let my emotions get the better part of me. I feel like I let my family, friends, co-workers, and the department down. He is a convicted federal civil rights violator, and he will forever be known as such. It was May 2014. Eloff was off-duty working security at Molly's Pub. That's the night a bar manager shoved William Sager Jr. down a flight of steps. He later died of injuries. Sager's friend, Donald Hall, was arrested and handcuffed for trespassing, a crime never committed. In June, Eloff pleaded guilty to deprivation of civil rights under color of law in connection with a false arrest. He now awaits sentencing. He's accepted responsibility. He's prepared to move forward with his life. Mike Teheri says despite what some people think, a judge wants to hear directly from a defendant before making a final decision. You can walk yourself out or walk yourself into prison based on what you say in court. I, think it, I don't think it's ever that locked in. You want to hear. Eloff's letter to the judge goes on to state, I cannot apologize to Mr. Hall enough for that night or even the Sager family as their loss was truly tragic. Does he accept responsibility for his role in that offense? And that is absolutely the cornerstone of the sentencing. Is this person accepting responsibility? And the punishment, whatever the judge decides, ultimately sends a message to the community, to Harry says. He's saying this is what I think this community needs in this case for a just and merciful result. It's not easy. As part of the plea agreement, Eloff resigned his position as a police officer. Now, in court papers, his lawyer writes, quote, he got it wrong that night and did something that he will regret for the rest of his life. Luke Moretti, News 4.